Now, this is News Channel 6. The Vernon Police Department is in the national spotlight after being the first police department to use weapon-mounted camera footage in a court case. Brad Pushkar shows us how after being able to defend their case with this technology, they are leading the way for more departments all across the country. With body cameras, officers can forget to turn them on in the heat of the moment or cover them with their hands extended. But with a weapons camera, it's always on and always out in front. It was on, It just started out as a routine call. Then Corporal TJ Session went up to a car in front of a home to serve a warrant. The suspect quickly backed the car up with him on the side. When I cleared the vehicle, when I focused back on him to give him commands to get out of the car, I mean, that's when I seen him coming over with the shotgun. He fired his gun and backed up as another officer arrived, realizing he had been shot as well. At the same time, I knew something bad had happened because in my head, Honestly, it was like, wow, this is how you're going to die. All this happened in almost 15 seconds. I didn't realize it happened as fast as it did until with the trial of the DA. It was like, this happened so fast, this, 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 and this. In court, the defense used body camera footage to support its case. I wasn't even looking at him. I was doing like this. The shots that his defense attorney showed were only from this. So it showed, it could see my gun pointed at him because I'm holding it like this. And you could see... Um, the defendant, and it looked like he wasn't doing anything. But from the gun camera... You can see him reaching over and grabbing the weapon and stuff, so... The cameras protect the officers and the people they're helping. And it's one of those things that you never want to happen, uh, but from my perspective, you have to put the right tools in, the, in our police officers' hands to make sure that we're safe. A long-term investment that Chief Agan wanted to jump on early. But I, I was I'm looking for a, uh, a better way for the officers to tell what's going on and and not without any obstruction and received support from the vernon community with vernon auto group making a major donation and purchasing them the chief had came in and uh, asked if there was a, you know any way we could assist them with a, a project while only a few dozen departments across the country use these cameras viridian weapon technologies are working with around 500 currently and expect this example to kickstart more interest the fact that it was an actual shooting seems to make a big difference, you know, because we've done scenarios, we've done testing, we've, we've, we've done simulations, but, but that's different than actual being used in the field with a random event that just unfolded in a random way. In Vernon, Brad Pushkar, News Channel 6. Great story, Brad. Thanks so much.